Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to run Android on your Chrome box. We'll be running Remix OS, and these are a few things that you're going to need. Obviously, your Chrome box. You're going to need a Windows PC. You can use Mac, but this tutorial is for Windows. You need a screwdriver. And you're gonna need either a safety pin and I had a thumbtack that fits just perfect. Something to fit in the hole, the little reset button on the side of the Chromebox unit. You will need a USB 3.0 flash drive for the Remix OS. This is what you'll be running Android off of. And you're going to need another 4 gig or bigger USB stick. It can be 3. This is an old USB 2.0 stick that works fine. What we're going to do is put a recovery image on here for Chrome OS. We're going to totally reset our Chrome box to factory. And you're going to need a USB stick to do this. We're going to move over to the PC, get some software downloaded, and start on this sucker. So let's get started here. First thing we're going to do is create a USB recovery stick. Now what this will do will reset your Chrome box to total factory Chrome box specs. If you mess anything up, you can always go back with this USB stick you are about to create and reset your unit to factory. We're going to use the Chromebook recovery utility. This is offered by Google and you can get it through the Chrome store. I will leave a link to everything we're using in the description today. Launch app. And it's very self-explanatory, but I'll go through it. You'll need a four gigabyte or larger USB drive. I have an eight USB 2.0 drive. Select your model. I'm using the HP Chromebox CB1. Now I have my USB drive. I'm gonna insert it into my PC. And it's clean USB drive. This is formatted FAT32. The utility should take care of that for you though. Click continue. Create now. It's just going to make this stick into a recovery USB for your Chrome box. So just let it go through the steps. It'll finish. Then you'll have a USB recovery stick that you can use. When this is done installing, we're going to move on to installing Remix OS on our other USB drive. Now what I have here is a SanDisk 64 gigabyte USB drive. We're going to go to www jide.com forward slash remix os all this is in the description so you can just click right on that remix os for pc download now and i am using the 64-bit uefi boot and legacy bios compatible and i'll download the torrent you can download it through your browser torrent is much faster So I've already downloaded mine and I've extracted it to my desktop. When you open it up, you'll see the how to launch Remix OS, Remix OS for PC. This is the disk image file. This is the tool we're going to use to flash to the USB drive. Go ahead and open up the installation tool. This is very simple, but you need to be careful because you do not want to flash it to your hard disk. You want to flash it to your USB drive. I'm going to insert my USB 3.0 drive now. You want to choose USB drive and make sure you have the correct drive chose here. Mine already has Remix on it, but I'm going to reflash it. Mine is drive I, USB drive. Just make sure that you have the correct drive selected down here. Click on browse. Navigate back to your Remix OS folder that you extracted. 
and click on the disk image file. Click OK. Mine already has it installed, so it'll ask me if I want to erase the existing data. Yes, I do. It's going to start the installation process. When Remix OS is done installing to the USB drive, just click Exit. What we're going to do now is move to the Chrome box. We're going to reset it to factory using the recovery USB stick that we created. Then we have to open up the bottom of the Chrome box and take out a screw. Very simple. Don't be scared. It's easy to do. All you need is one screwdriver. I'll walk you through it, guys. We're moving to the Chrome box now. So in order to reset the Chrome box to factory specs using the USB drive, we're going to need to take that paper clip or whatever you have and right on the side of the unit, there's a tiny hole beside the Kingston lock. You're going to need to insert your paper clip into there. Make sure you get to the end where you can feel the button pressing. Now this is the developer mode button. We're going to have to boot this using the little reset button on the side. And what we do is place your thumbtack or paper clip or whatever fits in there. Make sure you're pressing the button. Hold the button down, plug your unit in. Now hold that button for three seconds. Release the button. So now you are in Chrome OS recovery mode. It says the Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert your recovery USB stick or SD card. So we're going to take that Chrome stick that we created, place it into one of the USB slots on the Chrome box. And it will reboot. Verify the integrity of the recovery mem media and it will install Chrome OS for you. So I recommend doing this. This is a factory wipe. This will update everything within Chrome to the latest version. And it's just safer to do it this way. We'll reset the box completely before we do any modifications. The factory reset is done. Now all you got to do is remove the USB stick and it will automatically reboot. So from here what we're going to do is unplug the unit and disassemble the bottom of the unit. It's nine screws. It's very simple. Follow the instructions and you will be fine. We need to remove a screw from the motherboard which blocks us from writing firmware to the BIOS. Okay, so before we flash any firmware, we need to take our Chromebox apart. Now, when I received this one, the rubber sleeves here were already missing. You may need to pry them up. Save them so you can put them back on later. They're probably on with a little bit of adhesive. Should be easy to get them off, but we're going to remove these four screws and pull the bottom off. Now, all we need to do is take off one of these so we can bend this uh, metal plate over and take out four more screws here. These are all the same size. Some have more Loctite on them. I just mixed them up. Okay, so we're actually going to need to take out five screws here. There's an extra one over here. So it's nine screws total. We're going to fold this over. 
And right here, this is the screw we need to remove. Usually it's like a jumper pin, but in this, in your Chrome box, it's a screw, at least the HP Chrome box. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. Right here. So we'll just remove that, reassemble the unit, and you're ready to flash firmware. With this removed, pop it back over. Be careful here. You shouldn't cause any damage to this. It'll be fine. And we'll just throw our five screws back in the bottom here. And we'll place our bottom case back on. Now it only goes one way, so you'll kind of find out which way it goes. Don't lose your screws like I did. You don't need to put them in super tight. Don't strip them out, guys. Don't go crazy on it. Um, put your pads back on if you do have them. Like I said, I didn't have them. They just sink right in here. They're little feet, and they should be rubber. Put them back in, and we're ready to flash some firmware. So now you have the screw removed from the internal motherboard. We're going to have to boot this using the little reset button on the side. And what we do is place your thumbtack or paper clip or whatever fits in there. Make sure you're pressing the button. Hold the button down, plug your unit in. Now hold that button for three seconds, release the button, It'll bring us back to the Chrome OS is missing or damaged. From here, press Control D. Now we want to turn the OS verification off. We're going to press the recovery button again, the little reset button on the side. So insert your paper clip. OS verification is off. Press Control D again. The system is transitioning into developer mode. Local data has been cleared. This can take a little bit of time, so just bear with it. Let it sit and it will finish. It will automatically reboot when you're done. It'll bring you back to the OS verification is off screen. Press left control D. From here, what we need to do is set up our network. We're almost done, guys. We have to install one thing through the terminal. It's very simple, but we need network connection. So if you have Ethernet plugged in, you can skip this step. But I'm going to set up my Wi-Fi. So now that you're connected to an online internet service, from here, don't sign in. Don't press continue. Press Control alt f 2 what this does is it brings us to a command line. And this is gonna be simple. Everything's in the description. I'm leaving them on screen now. You wanna type in Kronos for the login. C-H-R-O-N-O-S. Press enter. Now you're here with the at local host. We wanna download a little package. And to do that, we'll type in curl, C-U-R-L, space, dash, capital L, space, dash, capital O, H-T-T-P, goo, dot, G-L, forward slash, three, capital T, F-U, Five, capital W, press enter. Now what this did was download a little package to our downloads folder. And in order to run this package, 
All we need to do is type in sudo bash three capital T F U five capital W press enter. Wait a few seconds. Now on this screen here, you just need to make sure it may change over time. I'm not sure, but the option that we want to choose if we look down the list is number five. We want to update our legacy BIOS, C BIOS. Press five. Now make sure that is the correct one for you. It may change, so it might be a different number in the future. Just make sure it's update legacy BIOS. So I pressed five, enter. Now from here, you can have it automatically boot from the USB drive if you would like. I don't want that to happen. I don't mind going in and booting manually. If you would like it to boot automatically from the Remix OS USB stick, you can do that by typing in Y. I'm going to choose no, enter. In here, you're not going to need the headless firmware. No, enter. It's installing the legacy BIOS. Now I tried this one time and I got an MD5 checksum error. I just tried it one more time and it worked perfectly. Press enter to return to the menu. And we want to press eight to reboot. Enter. Every time you boot, you'll be at this screen. Plug in your Remix OS USB stick that we created earlier. Press left control L. Press escape for the boot menu. And we want to boot from drive number two, which is my USB MSC drive sand disk. It may be different on yours, but mine is number two. So I'll press two. This is the Remix OS boot screen here. Resident mode, all my data and apps will be saved. Everything will be saved to the USB drive. It will not affect the internal storage of your Chrome box. You can run guest mode just to test it out, but if you install anything, nothing will be saved to your USB. I run in resident mode, press enter. Now the first boot can take a little bit of time. Let it sit. The Remix OS logo will flash for a little bit of time up to five minutes now this is normal this is only going to happen on the first boot let it sit it will boot the operating system all right so you are now running remix os on your chrome box we want to install the google play store so in order to do that connect to your wi-fi i have already done so or your ethernet and click on the menu icon here, install apps, double click. It'll open up a Chrome page and bring us to a download section on Google Groups for the Remix OS. You wanna download the gmsactivator.apk, press download. Now you can access the download by clicking on that that just showed or you can go this bar or file manager. Double click on your file manager, downloads, gmsactivator.apk, you will only have one here. Double click, install, Ex decline, I always decline. Open, install Google services, Installation complete. Please reboot your system. And you can reboot by clicking on the app menu here. And I always just shut down. So I'm going to shut down. From here, we're just going to reboot like we did. Control L. Escape. Two. Resident mode. And we are ready to use the Google Play services. Google Play Store here. 
You'll click on that. You'll have to sign in. I haven't signed in yet. But that's it, guys. This is Android running on your Chrome box from a USB stick. Do not worry. Nothing is saved to the internal storage on your Chrome box. It is all saved onto the USB stick. The faster your stick, the better performance you will get. So if you go with a SanDisk Black Ultra with a really good read and write speed, you'll get better performance. Boot times will be quicker. This works really well. There are some apps that don't work from the Play Store, but this is amazing that we're able to run this on an x86 processor. And to tell you the truth, I would not have used this Chromebox much at all if I was not able to install another operating system on it. And I'm sure a lot of people have bought the Chromeboxes and they've probably been, been sitting collecting dust. This is an awesome way to get that Chromebox up and running and actually want to use it. There are tons of games on the App Store, tons of apps that are compatible. So that's it, guys. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you could help me out by clicking that thumbs up button and subscribing, that would be awesome because I have a lot more coming. Next, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu. Now that you have this set up correctly, it's going to be super simple. We're just going to go into the Chrome OS, run a few command lines, and we'll be up and running Ubuntu in no time. So I do appreciate you guys watching. You guys help me out so much. I'm up. Subscribers are going up and up. You guys are great. Audience is fantastic. Thank you guys for watching.